All right, let's let's give it a go. I want to thank everybody for joining in. Uh, I'll be talking for about uh, 35 to 40 minutes. Then I'll answer all the questions that you have. And if you have more than one question, you're welcome to give me a list or just continue asking questions as time goes on. Um, so I'm pleased to uh, talk about regenerative medicine. As you can see, uh, or maybe you can't see, uh, I'm Dr. Paul Lieber from Regen uh, Regenex Pittsburgh, uh, Regenex being the trusted alternative to orthopedic surgery. And my slides are stuck. So let me. Try to advance my slides. And nothing is happening. Let's see if that makes a difference. It doesn't. I'm going to try to uh, get out of this and see if I can bring up the slides. Uh, so I will. Um, Let's see if I can do it from the beginning. I can. Okay. All right, um, here we go. Hopefully, you can see the slide. And uh, what I'm talking about today is the trusted alternative to orthopedic surgery. I'm going to talk about our three step process uh, where we get the cells, how they work. Uh, what they can answer and answer your questions. I'm Dr. Paul Lieber. I am a board certified physical medicine and rehabilitation uh, physician. I've been practicing for 32 years. I became a Regenex physician in 2012. Um, and I'm also a patient uh, having been treated with uh, both uh, stem cells and platelet-rich plasma many times uh, to keep me from having joint replacements and uh, making me able to uh, participate in sports, particularly cycling. So, um, and we have three physicians, uh, Dr. Adelsheimer, Dr. Sally, and myself. Uh, we're presently practicing out of uh, four locations, and um, 
we've been doing this since 2012. We've done over 2,500 stem cell procedures and about 10,000 platelet-rich plasma procedures. We've done more treatment than any other uh, uh, treatment uh, office uh, combined. Uh, so there are folks that treat out there, uh, but we've done uh, much more. We do everything from beginning to end as physicians. We have no physician extenders. Uh, so you get us uh, and we're all certified uh, to do these procedures. So there's a, a gap in the care continuum that leads to surgery where Regenix is a solution. Um, the treatment began with pharmaceuticals and steroid injections, um, NSAIDs, as you know, Aleve, Advil, ibuprofen, et cetera, um, putting corticosteroids in your joints, which actually destroys the uh, chondrocytes, um, leading to joint breakdown and early uh, joint replacement. Physical therapy and chiropractic care have been very helpful, but uh, there had been a large gap between that and surgery, and Regenex fills in that gap, and we'll talk about that. The evidence-based research on orthopedic surgical procedures is scandalous. Uh, there's about 20% of the orthopedic literature is legit, where there are double-blind randomized placebo-controlled studies. The rest have been around for a long time and more or less are grandfathered in as the standard of care. Interestingly, carpal tunnel surgery is one of those uh, surgeries that has been uh, shown to be clinically effective, but about 53% of all orthopedic surgery uh, is not uh, effective and no better than um, non-operative treatment. Not only are there many thousands of these procedures done uh, per year, as there are many orthopedic uh, surgeons, uh, and this has been the standard of care, but with any orthopedic surgery, you run the risk of heart attack, stroke uh, complications, including nerve damage, infection, blood clots, and death. And the risk is about 100 times greater for an orthopedic surgery than a uh, Regenex uh, procedure. The most compelling information out there as it relates to orthopedic surgery is meniscus surgery, 95% of the meniscus surgery, you're removing a needed spacer, which has a tear in it, and you're creating an environment where normal I'm going to see if I can bring up the slideshow again. Hold on one second, because I, I want you to see the slide. Um, I'm uh, trying to get the slide deck up.
I'm looking to bring the slide deck up. Sorry for the delay here. Okay, now can you see the slide? Great. We've talked about this, so I'll just continue on. Um, so what's occurred is that we have develop this entity called Regenix. It's a network of highly selective uh, uh, specialized physicians throughout the country uh, of which Regenix Pittsburgh is one. There are about 70 locations around the country and about uh, 10 outside the United States. We use proprietary high dose protocols where we're using your stem cells and platelets and concentrating them uh, based upon your needs. We we, Regenix, are the world leader in research and development. Uh, we are also responsible for national self-funded employer practice where employers use Regenix uh, for their employees. And if the employers are trusting us, uh, we must be doing something special. Uh, so they, they see that we provide uh, a quality service. We get uh, their employees back to work sooner, uh, the employees themselves are satisfied and um, it works well for everyone. So uh, we have become a group of interventional orthopedic uh, specialists where we do less invasive uh, treatment rather than a surgery. Uh, we're using needles rather than scalpels. Um, and we deliver orthobiologics by injection. There is a, a lower risk as a result. And this is a patient who's had ACL uh, repairs through needles and goes home with uh, band-aids rather than um, bulky dressings, braces, et cetera. There's less downtime, there's shorter rehab, less drugs. People are back to work in days, not weeks. And typically you're awake that we can make you uh, comfortable with uh, various types of um, sedation like nitrous oxide uh, sedation in addition to numbing your uh, skin and soft tissues. And occasionally uh, we even uh, provide conscious sedation when necessary. And we treat everything that's musculoskeletal. Um, we treat knees, all sorts of end-stage arthritis, 
anterior cruciate and posterior cruciate ligament tears. Uh, we treat um, spine, uh, disc injuries, uh, spinal stenosis, sciatica, um, disc extrusions, et cetera. So anywhere on the body, uh, we can treat uh, uh, you effectively, whatever your condition is, as long as it's musculoskeletal um, or uh, peripheral neurologic. So Who's this for? It used to be for just athletes. Now it's for people who want to avoid surgery, keeping all your parts. You don't have down uh, time for downtime or lengthy rehabilitation. You're uninterested in taking uh, drugs, uh, including narcotics or anti-inflammatory medications for a uh, long term. You failed some surgery before, uh, the most common of which is uh, the person who's had a knee replacement is dissatisfied with it and wants to undergo uh, regenerative treatment. Uh, this is true for hips and shoulders as well. And there are people who are considered too young for surgery, the teenage athletes who have torn their anterior cruciate ligaments or menisci, uh, and they wanna get back in the game uh, and avoid surgery. So this is what our suite looked like. We have um, that, uh, uh, big C is a, what's called a C arm. It's an X-ray machine that tilts in space, and we have an ultrasound uh, machine by it. So these are the things that we use to uh, guide our injections when we're treating a patient. And this is our lab. We have a, a laboratory uh, rather than a bedside centrifuge to enable us to concentrate your. Uh, platelet-rich plasma and stem cells to a higher degree. And we're using your own cells. We don't use anybody else's cells. We don't use any filler or anything of the sort. It is just you. Um, it, it can help um, arthritis, tendinopathy, ligament, ligamentitosis, um, uh, we can help uh, uh, spinal conditions, um, including uh, sciatica, herniated discs, et cetera. These are just a few examples. So with platelet-rich plasma, it's a blood draw and spinning it down, uh, concentrating it uh, to what is needed to treat um, your bones, ligaments, tendons, et cetera. Uh, for stem cells, uh, we're taking bone marrow, uh, spinning it down, getting the stem cells out, and uh, using them effectively as well. Uh, stem cells typically are uh, for more serious conditions, but at least 50% of what we do is platelet-rich plasma. What can't we help? We can't help people um, with stem cells who have uh, active cancer. Uh, we can't help people who have uh, significant metabolic disease. Um, uh, they're uh, generally sick, uh, doesn't work real well, uh, and we don't help uh, people who have uh, arthritis throughout their bodies, doesn't work as well. ERP has growth factor in it um, and other things that amplify healing. Uh, you can think of platelet-rich plasma as an espresso shot for local repair of cells. Uh, it makes the cells in the area work harder and longer. It attracts stem cells into the area. It also quiets down uh, the pain, um, releasing uh, a neurochemical that um, uh, called serotonin that helps ease discomfort. Stem cells, uh, they act as general contractors to organize uh, the healing response. Uh, they also work best with platelet-rich plasma, and they can turn into um, the tissues that they land on, uh, like cartilage, tendon, ligament, and bone. So which one is for you? Typically, uh, platelet-rich plasma works for small joints, uh, less severe arthritis, ligaments, tendon, and spine. And we use it almost exclusively in spine treatment to treat ligaments, uh, facet joints, uh, and nerves. 
um, bone marrow concentrates for larger joints that have more damage and more severity, and also to go inside bone to fortify the bone from the inside out. About 50% of what we do is platelet-rich plasma and 50% are stem cells with platelet-rich plasma. A PRP costs uh, significantly less and we can um, use that a lot. Not everyone needs stem cell treatment. I'm gonna give you a few examples of interventional orthopedics. The first is injecting the anterior cruciate ligament. Uh, there are two bands uh, that can be injected under x-ray. And as you can see in the diagrams, uh, there is a conduit where the ACL uh, uh, lives. And when the ACL separates, it separates within that conduit. So when we put uh, platelet-rich plasma or more likely stem cells into that conduit, uh, we can effectively repair the anterior cruciate ligament. And usually that works in younger folks who have separation of less than uh, one centimeter. We can go and we can repair um, labral tears in shoulders very, very effectively. And this is an example of that where there's a anterior superior labral tear and you can see the contrast uh, filling in the defect. We can treat bony lesions. Uh, as you can see on the right side, uh, there is a uh, lesion in the bone with uh, surrounding edema, which generally represents microfractures. We can go into the bone and fill that in with stem cells in addition to treating uh, the joint itself. And this is an example of how using something called platelet lysate, which is your platelets concentrated, frozen, ruptured, and filtered, we can actually treat nerves effectively. And in this case, this is a non-surgical carpal tunnel treatment where we're effectively surrounding uh, the median nerve. And that seems to work effectively for mild to moderate severity carpal tunnel syndrome with an itsy bitsy needle. This is an example of repairing a rotator cuff uh, where we can go in and treat the separation of the rotator cuff muscle, in this case, the supraspinatus. And the after um, shot is that supraspinatus filled in and repaired. And we can do this for um, separations of about two thirds of an inch. It works very effectively. And finally, you have Someone like uh, Julie here, whose um, quality of life has improved. Julie was on crutches for a period of three years. She was told that nothing would work. She found Regenex, had her defect in the um, uh, femur filled in. As you can see, in March of 2014, there's a large painful defect and in September of 2015, that defect is much smaller and causing her no pain. So she could get rid of her crutches, get along with her life, doing Pilates, uh, yoga, et cetera. So the pre-injection is the first uh, for the stem cell treatment where we use a dextrose-based solution. We're tilling the soil. This stimulates an inflammatory response from your immune system. Stem cells adhere better uh, to uh, uh, the tissue we put them on uh, once the uh, bone marrow, uh, I'm sorry, once the uh, dextrose has been uh, supplied in the area. Um, to get full advantage of uh, the stem cells themselves. And then two to four days later, we aspirate bone marrow concentrate uh, from your uh, posterior pelvis. Uh, it's the source of your stem cells and we concentrate them in our lab and we re-inject them back into damaged tissue on the same day and you go home. So this is an example of that so you can 
watch what it looks like. Uh, this is my partner uh, doing a bone marrow aspirate under ultrasound. He's using a skinny uh, drill bit, actually, uh, much smaller than a, a and thinner than a trocar. As you can see, the patient is not flinching. She's not in any discomfort. The tissue has been anesthetized beforehand. And that's all it takes, about one second, and you're in to the bone. And then you aspirate, uh, putting a little heparin to make sure that the bone marrow is uh, properly thin, and then you're taking the bone marrow out. And as you can see, this is really not an uncomfortable thing. Most people have been horrified by the idea of bone marrow aspirate, but it really, really doesn't hurt. I've had it done to myself. So uh, not, not a real problem at all, uh, well tolerated. So then uh, we plant the stem cell seed. Um, uh, We've aspirated the bone marrow, gotten the stem cells out of the bone marrow and um, take them to the lab for processing and re-inject the affected region uh, about two hours later. And finally, two to four days after that, fertilizing stem cells uh, with uh, more platelet-rich plasma drawn from uh, the blood. Uh, taking to lab for processing and uh, re-injecting. So uh, it's a three-part treatment. The first part is dextrose to stimulate the immune system, uh, tilling the soil. Second part, uh, uh, planting the stem uh, cell seeds uh, with aspirating the bone marrow, getting the stem cells and, and planting them under guidance. And then uh, uh, the stem cell uh, Injection also contains platelet-rich plasma. And finally, you're fertilizing the stem cell seeds uh, once again, two to four days thereafter, uh, trying to uh, get them uh, to be as effective as possible. But we're the world's leader in research. We have a registry of 34,000 patients that we're following uh, to see how they're doing. And we can change uh, treatment if things look more effective or less effective based upon what we do. We've published about 40% of the uh, world's uh, papers on stem cells. We have 29 peer-reviewed papers in those publications. We do ongoing research uh, uh, routinely, and we assess outcomes uh, to make certain that we're doing uh, the best possible treatment for you, the patient. We also have the world's largest safety paper, about 2,500 patients enrolled. Um, and the existing evidence shows that uh, what occurs mostly is some discomfort at the harvest site for a very short period of time, one to three hours, and at the implantation site for one to three days. Infections are minimal. Uh, blood clots are minimal. And in fact, at Regenix Pittsburgh, no one thus far has ever had an infection. Uh, we like to think it's our good technique, but also mesenchymal stem cells, the MSCs, are, uh, they kill bacteria. So nothing bacterial survives. So we're trying to stack the deck in your favor. You get doctors, not uh, doctor extenders. You get uh, imaging. Uh, guided injections. We don't do anything without image guidance. We want to put the uh, stem cells or platelet-rich plasma uh, precisely where they're needed. Uh, you get uh, the research that we've done, uh, the safety that we've demonstrated. And this is very personalized. We have the ability to concentrate the cells or platelets to your need. One size does not fit all. Uh, we evaluate you and determine your candidacy. Not everyone is a candidate. And we're very transparent about it. And we tell you the cost up front so you know uh, what you're paying for. And we're trying to give you your life back. Uh, we're trying to get you back into activities with your family. Enjoying life is uh, critical. Um, improving your finances, getting you back to work quickly, improving your fitness, 
and improving your relationship with your spouse or significant other. Uh, if you're grumpy and you're hurt all the time, um, uh, it can in, in interfere with your relationships. The results show good outcomes uh, for virtually everyone. Uh, we're reducing your pain, we're increasing your function, we're improving your mood, we're getting you off pain medicine, we're getting you back to a preferred and active lifestyle, whether that's gardening or running a marathon or um, uh, riding the bike, uh, you name it. Uh, we're trying to get you back to it so that you can enjoy your life. So there's no referral necessary. You gather your x-rays or your MRI or both. You call the Regenix liaison, Sarah Furlan, get an appointment uh, or telemedicine appointment if you're far away. Um, if you come in and you need imaging, we'll write prescriptions for you. If you're a candidate, get treatment. Uh, you get rehab at home or in physical therapy for short duration and ultimately get your life back. Um, so the step, first step is making an appointment. We're all local doctors. You're not getting anybody from out of state. Uh, just like uh, a special car mechanic, we have gone through all the interventional orthobiologic foundation courses. Uh, these were set up through Regenix uh, and we are master certified to do any and all treatment uh, that we offer. Um, you get no fillers at all along the way. You're getting a specialized physician. We have the training. We go to Denver and train uh, uh, continuously so that we do these procedures uh, the best possible way. And everything we do is image guided. Step two is get an exam, it's an extended exam, typically an hour uh, where we gather history, uh, perform an exam. We do an ultrasound exam if it is a peripheral a joint uh, spine, obviously rely more on x-rays and MRI and you get your questions answered. We're there to help you. Um, and we recognize that uh, the body is interconnected. So when you say you have a neck problem, well, it may be a neck problem and a shoulder problem. Um, uh, so uh, things are interconnected. We recognize this. And so sometimes uh, we'll need to treat an area that you think is not a problem, but we find out maybe the source of your problem. And finally, get treatment. There's little to no rehab, minimal to no pain meds, a minimal to no missed time at work. You get your life back sooner rather than later and much quicker than orthopedic surgery. So uh, there are four reasons to take your health off hold today. You wanna to avoid surgery, uh, backlog and worsening of your condition, uh, get your fitness back, get your weight uh, back, increase the quality of time with loved ones, and remember, no one's getting any younger. And if you wait for months and months and months to do this, uh, you can uh, uh, worsen your condition. And there have been a few people that I've evaluated uh, and six months later, uh, their condition is so bad that uh, they are no longer a candidate to undergo treatment. So don't wait. And also remember that um, the insurance covers the consultations, the follow-ups, the diagnostics, the bracing and the therapy. It doesn't cover the regenerative procedures, the prolotherapy, the platelet-rich plasma, the platelet lysate, and the stem cell treatment. So also remember with co-pays and deductibles, you actually may be paying more for traditional uh, orthopedic surgery. We provide you with a customized treatment plan uh, that results in a uh, wide price range. Um, so just recognize that. Then contact Sarah Ferlin, 412-963-6480. She is our Regenix liaison. Uh, she's available to uh, get you scheduled and answer some of your questions. So avoid surgery, reduce downtime, get your life back. Uh, 
see a Regenex physician, we'll get it done properly for you. Um, I saw a patient just recently, uh, she wanted to have more done. I had treated her hips several years ago and she said, you were much more expensive, but I had had platelet-rich plasma previously from another doctor, it didn't last. Uh, she's several years out. The PRP that I provided to her hips is doing well. She now wants to have her temporomandibular joints uh, treated. So, you know, it, it's more expensive, but you really do get what you pay for. So with that, uh, I'm going to get out of this screen and see if I can uh, answer some questions. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, and I'm trying to get your questions. So the first question is from uh, Jim. Jim had asked me, uh, what diagnostic tools do you use to determine the best course of non-surgical treatment? And I think we've talked about them. Uh, ultrasound and MRI or and x-rays are the best diagnostic tools. Sometimes we'll use CAT scan. Um, there are other uh, scans that we can use, uh, particularly CT scan uh, when a person has a pacemaker, for instance. But we always um, ultrasound or most often ultrasound if it's peripheral joint, um, x-rays and MRIs for spine. Second question from Jim, is prolotherapy currently available as treatment? Uh, we've been told that to get my screen to enlarge. Let's see if I can do that. All right, I'm giving it a whirl, but I uh, can't seem to get my picture enlarged. So it's just a small picture. I apologize for that. Um, and I'm looking for the questions. We have more questions. Um, so Jim uh, asks, is prolotherapy currently available as a treatment? It certainly is, and it can be a standalone treatment. Um, he says, we've been told that drugs are not currently available. Uh, the standard drug for um, prolotherapy is dextrose. We have plenty of it. Typically, we use uh, uh, somewhere between 12.5 and 15% dextrose for tendons and ligaments and 25% dextrose for intraarticular um, treatment. Third question from Jim, are you able to provide a general prognosis for success when recommending a treatment plan? Not only are we able to provide it, but you can go on the Regenex website, um, the national website, and they will tell you or show you uh, what the outcomes are uh, per uh, body part. Um, and they may have that also available uh, per uh, clinic treatment, um, but we can certainly tell you. So um, other questions, can Regenix help with meniscal tears? So the answer is absolutely. Um, uh, 
and we treat meniscal tears primarily with platelet-rich plasma unless they're large and we can then use uh, stem cells. Um, but typically PRP is what we use. Um, please understand that if you're old and have a meniscal tear uh, where you have a degenerated meniscus, um, sometimes uh, or often that's not the source of your pain. So um, sometimes we treat it, sometimes we treat the articular surface. Uh, if you're young and have an isolated meniscal tear, uh, we're gonna treat the meniscal tear and treat them. Uh, ligaments that have destabilized, allowing uh, the meniscus to have torn. Carol asks, how long does this therapy last? Will I have it again in the future? So platelet-rich plasma typically lasts a couple of years, uh, depending upon what we do. Stem cells last longer. Uh, to give you an example, I just saw somebody who had, had um, first-generation stem cells uh, in 2014 and is now having uh, some issues in one of his two knees. Uh, interestingly, we're now on our third generation of stem cells. They're all your stem cells. So uh, what, is, what does that mean? First generation, we used what's called the Buffy coat, the bright red coat of uh, coming out of the bone marrow uh, and thinking that this had all the stem cells. We then found out that the lipid or fatty layer had more st stem cells than uh, the fatty layer, I'm sorry, than the Buffy coat. Uh, so in combination, uh, people who were treated in uh, 2014 may have had uh, two to 400 million cells. Uh, if they were treated after that, they would have uh, about 1.5 to 1.8 billion uh, cells. And now we've learned uh, from research that putting the cells into the bone in addition to the articular surface in people that have end stage uh, osteoarthritis seems to be an effective way of fortifying the bone uh, that actually uh, supports the cartilage, um, et cetera. So we are now putting uh, your stem cells into bone. Uh, in addition to uh, treating the ligaments in the articular surface. Uh, William asks, what can you do for a bone on bone knee? Doctors don't wanna fix because of a heart condition. Bone on bone is our demographic. Uh, this is an area that we've treated from the very beginning. Um, and uh, we, uh, uh, treat this effectively. 87% uh, uh, of the folks that we treat who are bone on bone, uh, who are told that they need a knee replacement, uh, don't wind up undergoing it after uh, two years. Um, but, you know, uh, the large portion of people that we see with bone on bone arthritis do quite well. The person I was talking about earlier who had a bone on bone knee arthritis, got eight years out of the treatment. So it's a, a very effective treatment for uh, people who don't want to undergo knee replacement uh, or have been told they can't undergo this treatment. Sylvia so asked, do you treat peripheral neuropathy? If so, what is the treatment? So the answer is um, possibly. Um, I've treated peripheral neuropathy <coughs> by treating uh, from the spine on down in places where the nerves are entrapped. So, for instance, uh, in the patient, in a patient with peripheral neuropathy in their feet, I will typically treat um, their spine. Uh, and usually they have some spinal stenosis and then sites of nerve entrapment. So uh, uh, where their common perineal nerve uh, gets entrapped behind the fibular head at the knee or their tibial nerve gets entrapped at the tarsal tunnel. Uh, 
uh, with platelet-rich plasma. So um, uh, it can be effective, um, but it's expensive. And so uh, 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 it's not a, a standard for Gen X treatment, but it seems to work. Uh, MK asks, uh, I tore my ACL in 2001, had it replaced in 2004 in Georgetown University Hospital. Suffering has been periodic with varying degrees of intensity. Can this be treated? So the answer is, is yes. Um, the ACL uh, allograph can be treated uh, with uh, stem cells. Uh, it depends upon whether uh, things have um, loosened up. The arthritis in the area can be treated and surrounding ligament soft tissue can be treated as well. So uh, those are the questions that have been asked thus far. Um, if you have more questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Uh, So I'm trying to um, any other questions that I can answer, I'd be glad to. Uh, I appreciate all the questions that you've asked. I'm still trying to enlarge my image. Um, not doing such an effective job. Uh, let me see. So hey, just to summarize, I think that Regenix is the best option out there. We're FDA compliant uh, with our treatment. There are many uh, treatments now where the FDA has been uh, coming after uh, uh, doctors or physician extenders or chiropractors, uh, things like amniotic uh, tissue, which is not stem cells, placental tissue, which is not stem cells, cord blood, which is not stem cells, um, Wharton's jelly, which is not stem cells. Um, the commercial products out there are not stem cells. The oil and, and adipose uh, derived uh, tissue or, or stem cells uh, do exist, but it's in violation of the FDA's minimal manipulation regulation. Um, they say that washing the adipose tissue with uh, a collagenase, uh, which is an external uh, product, uh, to, to get the stem cells out of fat is illegal. Uh, there is a, a company now which seems to uh, have a, a micronized uh, fat, a product called Lipogems uh, that the FDA has recently approved, uh, but the uh, degree of uh, stem cells within the, the adipose tissue uh, is much less per unit volume. So. Uh, that's one thing. The other thing um, is that FDA compliance, uh, they talk about what's called homologous use. Uh, homologous use is uh, 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 taking adipose out, for instance, or taking uh, uh, stem cells out and put that, putting them back in the same uh, tissue. So if you're aspirating bone marrow, the, uh, the FDA wants you at least in part to put that back into the bone. And by doing the uh, interosseous treatment, 
uh, for say an end stage knee, uh, you, are, you are compliant. So um, I'm gonna ask some, answer some more questions. Uh, Brett asks, is scoliosis with stenosis a treatable condition and how many total days of procedures would this approximately take? So the answer is scoliosis is treatable with, uh, uh, with or without stenosis. Uh, treatment is typically done uh, in one day. Uh, we draw the blood um, from your arm, uh, spin it down, get your platelet-rich plasma to be injected into facet joints, get your platelet lysate to be injected along nerves. Again, platelet lysate is uh, PRP that has been concentrated, uh, ruptured, filtered, and is pure immediate release growth factor. We call it uh, platelet lysate or PL disc. Um, and um, PL hyphen M prolotherapy uh, is a dextrose based treatment to strengthen and tighten the ligaments. And in the case of scoliosis, we will treat uh, the scoliotic curvature uh, with that as well. Jim asks, how soon does one typically see results? Uh, I, glad that you asked that, Jim. Um, uh, results take a while. Um, and we're using growth factor and stem cells to treat an area. And I tell people that after one month, uh, things are just beginning to work. After three months, uh, uh, you were much improved. And with a platelet-rich plasma or stem cell treatment, we cut you loose at three months to do whatever it is that you wanna be doing, whether it's running a marathon or heavy weightlifting, et cetera. Um, and by six months, most of the healing has occurred and you're uh, as good or almost as good as you're gonna be. So it's a, it's a slow process. It's not um, immediate benefit uh, from, uh, from uh, the treatment we provide. Healing uh, takes a while to occur. There are people who heal quicker than that uh, and get a response uh, that's quicker than that but um, I, I caution people uh, to uh, take it easy, particularly if they're doing uh, heavy exercise um, or a long distance running. Uh, uh, it uh, takes a while to get back in the game. Uh, golf, not so much. Uh, riding an elliptical, not so much. Riding a bicycle, uh, not so long. Sylvia asked, my friend had adipose, uh, do you offer that? We do offer adipose to buttress uh, torn menisci, um, uh, fill in the area, et cetera. Uh, we don't use adipose as the source of stem cells. And if your friend had adipose um, uh, and they uh, washed it with collagenase to get what's referred to as uh, uh, stromal vascular fraction, uh, the FDA considers that illegal. Uh, Brett asks, we live in Ohio, so wondering time-wise uh, what we do uh, so we don't have to travel back and forth. Typically, if you're having stem cells, the dextrose-based prolotherapy, uh, you're gonna feel better after that uh, than when you came in. It takes about a half an hour uh, done under ultrasound and um, you leave and go home. Uh, depending upon what we do, how old you are, uh, whether you have somebody to drive, it may be wise to uh, get a hotel uh, between the second and third treatment. Uh, so that when we harvest your bone marrow uh, and implant your stem cells, uh, which can cause some discomfort, and we make you partial weight bearing, if it's an ankle, knee, or hip, um, you may not want to travel back and forth before you get the third uh, treatment where we're fertilizing the seeds. So you may want to get a hotel room, 
uh, we're going to give you uh, some pain medicine uh, for a day or so. Uh, when I had my stem cell treatment, I took uh, three oxycodone to get me uh, to be able to sleep that night. But generally, uh, it's pretty well tolerated. So anyhow, um, I thank you all for attending. Uh, and um, I'll stick around a few more minutes to answer any other uh, questions that you may have. Um, I really appreciate your taking this time out of your busy day. Um, again, um, remember that we are physicians, not physician extenders. Uh, we have the expertise uh, through Regenix and through our uh, board specialty of physical medicine rehabilit rehabilitation to treat you and treat you effectively. So um, there are uh, a lot of networks out there, uh, one of them being QC Kinetics, uh, uh, but they use physician extenders to provide their treatment. Uh, they have nowhere near the degree of expertise that uh, Dr. Sally, Dr. Alsheim, or, or I have. Uh, and again, we've been doing this now for 10 years. So uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for asking your questions. And um, I will uh, see you again next time in a couple couple of uh, months. Um, but I'd be happy to see you in the office. Uh, please make an appointment. Remember that the appointments are paid for by your insurance company and uh, they cost you nothing uh, and you spend an hour with a physician going over your condition. So uh, thanks again and uh, have a great day. Take care. One more question. Let me see if I can answer it. No, we're good. All right, take care. Wish you well. Hope to see you in the future. Thanks again. Uh, we are. Ending, ending the uh, webinar. Thank you.